Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary. Our topic today is, do we have two lives? Confucius said, we have two lives, and the second begins when we realize we only have one. What does this really mean? In my world, this has become very evident, both because of my health concerns as well as in my personal life. When we were young, the majority of us have a nagging belief that we can't die, that we are only one of billions and not that important. We believe that right will always win in the end. We think our parents can't make mistakes. We believe in our teachers and our government. We believe all of these things until we don't. We'll lose many of these beliefs as we age, usually not at the same time, but we generally learn we are mortal, that people do lie, that not everything is as it seems at first glance. Hopefully, we also learn that our actions have consequences. We can try to learn that our efforts can go towards fixing something, and we learn that even though we alone can't fix everything, that we are not just a single one out of billions, but one who can join with others to form a formidable force for change. When we learn that life isn't as easy as we once thought it was, and learn that effort generally helps lead toward what we consider good, then we can start living in the real world. Our real life is when we become our best self, the self that can take a punch and come back stronger. I had an epiphany the other day. I realized that we never know what will happen tomorrow, that we, we should enjoy our today. You have one life, then you must live it. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did. So? So throw off the bow lines. Sail away from that safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. You know who said all that? Mark Twain. Smart man, huh? When you realize you have only one life, a new life begins. You are no longer bogged down by opinions or simple yet annoying things in life. You really start living the way you want to. You begin to take risks, hanging around like-minded people, leaving energy-draining people, traveling to where you want, doing extraordinary stuff because you want to. You're not scared of anything because you know you have only one life, and this moment is the only moment ever. I know this because I'm doing it right now. When we start living our passion, our second life, then we realize that we cannot live without it and actually have only one life and one choice. That's our passion. Thank you for watching Seymour's World Commentary on Think Tech Hawaii. Please send me your comments. Aloha.